Listening one. One. So, how was your weekend, Alexis? Well, I wanted to go to a club with my friend, but she was too tired to go out. So what did you do? We just stayed home and watched TV. Two. I had a great weekend. What happened? I went to my sister's house. I helped her clean the garage. Really? Yeah, but she made me a really great dinner that night. All right. Three. What did you do last weekend? Um, I spent most of the time at the gym. How come? Well, I plan to enter a bodybuilding competition next month. Gee, I didn't know you were a bodybuilder. Yeah. Want to see my muscles? Four. So what was your weekend like? Not very good. My brother came over. Yeah? Well, he's got three young boys. I spent all weekend playing with my nephews. Now I'm exhausted. I'll bet. Five. Did you have a nice weekend? Mm, not too bad. Did you do anything special? Well, I saw a really good movie. With who? Oh, I don't think you know him. It's this really good-looking guy I just met. Six. Did you have a nice weekend, Teresa? It was okay. So what did you do? Well, I met some friends on Saturday, and we watched a DVD. How about Sunday? Did you see the World Series on TV? The what? The baseball game. Oh. No, I was too tired. I slept most of the day. You're kidding. You missed a really great game. Listening to. One. So how was your weekend? Oh, I went to see that new science fiction movie downtown. Oh, yeah? How was it? Boring. I think I fell asleep in the middle of it. Two. What was your weekend like? Awful. How come? I went to the beach for the weekend, but it was cold and wet the whole time. Oh, yuck. Three. So, what did you do over the weekend? Oh, I stayed home and read. Sounds pretty boring. Not really. I finished reading a terrific novel. Want to borrow it? Maybe some other time. Four. How was your weekend? I went to a great outdoor concert and met some really interesting people. And guess what? I met this guy who loves tennis. We're going to get together for a game on Saturday. So you're not playing tennis with me? Oh, well, um, no, sorry. Five. Did you do anything interesting over the weekend? Well, I had to study for an exam. All weekend? Yeah, it was pretty awful. When's the exam? Today. Well, good luck. Thanks. I'll need it. Six. Did you have a good weekend? Yeah, I had a great weekend. I was out both Friday and Saturday night with friends. But now I'm so tired. I won't do that again for a while. Too bad. I was going to ask you out next weekend. Listening to. One. So how was your weekend? Oh, I went to see that new science fiction movie downtown. Oh, yeah? How was it? Boring. I think I fell asleep in the middle of it. Two. What was your weekend like? Awful. How come? I went to the beach for the weekend, but it was cold and wet the whole time. Oh, yuck. Three. So, what did you do over the weekend? Oh, I stayed home and read. Sounds pretty boring. Not really. I finished reading a terrific novel. Want to borrow it? Maybe some other time. Four. How was your weekend? I went to a great outdoor concert and met some really interesting people. And guess what? 
I met this guy who loves tennis. We're going to get together for a game on Saturday. So you're not playing tennis with me? Oh, well, um, no, sorry. Five. Did you do anything interesting over the weekend? Well, I had to study for an exam. All weekend? Yeah, it was pretty awful. When's the exam? Today. Well, good luck. Thanks. I'll need it. Six. Did you have a good weekend? Yeah, I had a great weekend. I was out both Friday and Saturday night with friends. But now I'm so tired. I won't do that again for a while. Too bad. I was going to ask you out next weekend. Listening 3 1. I had a really great weekend. I didn't have anything to do on Saturday afternoon, so I went to the mall. I went into a department store to look around. They were having a contest. All you had to do was write answers to some easy questions about pop music and put your answers in a box. Then they pulled out three names for a prize. And guess what? Mine was the first name they pulled out. I couldn't believe it. And it's a terrific prize. A weekend for two in Las Vegas. Two. Saturday morning, I got a phone call from an old school friend. I haven't seen her for a long time. She was one of my closest friends in high school, but she moved to Los Angeles for work. She was in town for four days, so she invited me to a restaurant for lunch. We had such a pleasant time together. She was telling me about her job in Los Angeles. It sounds really interesting. And she works for a movie company, and she has to find places where they can film movies. You know, places like restaurants, hotels, lobbies, parks, and streets. 3. My brother and I wanted some exercise on Sunday, so we decided to go on a nature walk. There's a big park near the town where there are supposed to be wonderful wild birds and butterflies. We took a bus there and walked along a forest trail for about four hours. It was pretty tiring because it was a really hot day. The worst thing was, we never saw any wild birds or butterflies. I don't think we'll go there again. 4. I went to my friend's birthday party on Saturday night. I don't always enjoy going to birthday parties because you often have to play stupid games and things. Well, we did have to play all sorts of stupid games. But I really enjoyed myself. I guess it was because the people at the party were all interesting. And there was good music, too. Somebody brought along some dance music, and everyone had a great time dancing. I didn't get home until after 2 a.m. Listening 3 1. I had a really great weekend. I didn't have anything to do on Saturday afternoon, so I went to the mall. I went into a department store to look around. They were having a contest. All you had to do was write answers to some easy questions about pop music and put your answers in a box. Then they pulled out three names for a prize. And guess what? Mine was the first name they pulled out. I couldn't believe it. And it's a terrific prize. A weekend for two in Las Vegas. Two. Saturday morning, I got a phone call from an old school friend. I haven't seen her for a long time. She was one of my closest friends in high school, but she moved to Los Angeles for work. She was in town for four days, so she invited me to a restaurant for lunch. We had such a pleasant time together. She was telling me about her job in Los Angeles. It sounds really interesting. And she works for a movie company, and she has to find places where they can film movies. You know, places like restaurants, hotels, lobbies, parks, and streets. 3. My brother and I wanted some exercise on Sunday, so we decided to go on a nature walk. There's a big park near the town where there are supposed to be wonderful wild birds and butterflies. We took a bus there and walked along a forest trail for about four hours. It was pretty tiring because it was a really hot day. The worst thing was, 
We never saw any wild birds or butterflies. I don't think we'll go there again. Four. I went to my friend's birthday party on Saturday night. I don't always enjoy going to birthday parties because you often have to play stupid games and things. Well, we did have to play all sorts of stupid games. But I really enjoyed myself. I guess it was because the people at the party were all interesting. And there was good music too. Somebody brought along some dance music and everyone had a great time dancing. I didn't get home until after 2 a.m. Pronunciation 1. I liked the movie. 2. I studied for a test. 3. She stayed with us. 4. We wanted to go home. Dictation Hi, Amy. What did you do this weekend? Oh, not much. I stayed home and worked on a project. Is that all? No, I also finished a good book. Later, I visited a friend. What about you? I played tennis. The courts were crowded. I waited a long time to play. What else did you do? Some friends invited me to dinner. Later, we went to a club and met a lot of interesting people.